Oh, you've also been in the studio with Miley Cyrus. What's it like working with her? Great experience, man. You know, like, Miley, like, she like, she like to turn up, man. That was very interesting for us, because the first time we met her, she, like, sung Nicki Minaj's second verse to ass, so we was like, whoa, all right. And then after that, we was like, okay, she's the turn up queen. She's the turn up queen, man. The record that you guys did, what, what does it sound like? Oh, uh, for Miley? For Miley. Oh man, just you know, just good fun, up tempo music, lots of bass, lots of ass. Like we, like we come, lots of energy, and then her amazing voice. You know what I'm saying? So we excited. Did she rap on the records at all? Mm, you got to, you got to wait, you got to wait and see, you got to wait and see about I that. I think she tried something new, man. She was like tap dancing <laughs> and like trash can, like sitting down on seats, like some new stuff, man. We trying to be innovative around here, man. Tell me about your artist, Captain. Captain, oh, man. man. Captain, man. Right now, we currently got the single out by the name of Ricky Ricardo. Um, he just signed like two months ago to Island Def Jam um, under the whole Write Your Life imprint, man. And we real excited about it, man. We really about to hit the pavement, get our artists going, man. And we stoked. Like, we got so much great music. Probably 85% done with the album, but it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Nice. Um, who else? I, you guys did that John Legend, the new single, right? I love that song. Tell me what it was like working with him. Uh, you know, it was incredible because Kanye actually brought us out to Hawaii. So it was us, it's Kanye, it's John Legend, and a host of other like crazy talented producers, musicians. Um, and Jeff Basker was out there. That was our first time meeting Jeff Basker, and he was fresh off the fun success. So for us to all to be out there just working, it was incredible. You know what I'm saying? The song came out incredible. We even put our little Chicago house influence on there. And so we just excited, man. We really excited. Tell me a little bit about the El Varner project. It's dope. Different. People go, people go be like, oh, wow, she put a spin on stuff, man. She dope. She's a real dope artist, man. But uh, she's trying some new tricks, man. So it should be very interesting to see how the fans accept it.